It's all systems go for the Africa's fastest man, Ferdinando Manyala, as he has intensified his training here in Mirama. is not a new place for him as this is the club whereby he has been coming here. They have been very helpful. But Ferdinando Manyala says that uh, he is ready to take a notch higher. Remember that uh, in the last edition in uh, Tokyo 2020, uh, Ferdinando Manyala managed uh, to get into the semi-finals, which was the first ever for a Kenyan. And this same round, he wants to go one better. Here is what Ferdinand Manyala had to say about the competition coming ahead. I'm not going to like be amazed by anything that I'm going to see in the village. I've been to Paris almost nine times, so nothing is going to scare me or nothing is going to make me feel like this is a new place to me. It's just about just getting there and either way 100 is 100. It's not going to be 105, it's not going to be 90 meters. 100 meters is still 100 meters, so when we get there, uh, picking lessons from the last Olympics, we are getting the experience this time. and. Uh, much into the conversation. In terms of training, Fadna Manyala says that uh, he needed this acclimatization uh, since uh, the first uh, two races that uh, he has competed, that is in Hengelo and uh, in Nairobi, was not that uh, a low attitude as it is here because this is the same condition that Fadna Manyala will face uh, when he go to Paris 2024 Olympics. When you train in this kind of environment, most of the races are always in low altitude, so you get to adapt to this other than you know training in a high altitude where there's less oxygen which you don't really use when it comes to 100 meters basically we breathe at most four times <laughs> in nine seconds so it's it's nice but we love hot weather but that's that's a, i mean that's a standard because you know uh, we use a lot of muscles and we have a lot of muscles in our bodies so we need them stretched and they can only stretch in hot weather and speaking of uh the crowd that Fadna Manyala pulls along with him, he thrives with crowd. And uh, here in Paris, we have Kenyans living uh, in Paris across the European uh, nation and also Kenyans who will be traveling from Nairobi to Mirama. Fadna Manyala says that uh, it will be a huge motivation uh, for him as this time round, having trimmed his number of races that he has competed on, he is feeling motivated, uh, being rallied behind by the Kenyan crowd to go and bring that uh, medal bracket for the very first time in the Kenyan's history. I love crowds. That's uh, one of the things that really make me run fast because when I get to those stadiums and they see, I look at the crowd, that's uh, something that, you know, drains all their uh, attention from my body and just brings out, you know, the best in me. So I'm happy that I got so many fans. From Miramas, people are traveling here. So many people are going to, <laughs> to watch me run. And that's, uh, that's uh, it feels, oh, it's, it's an honor. Earlier on, Team Kenya had a very important visitor, and that is a Kenyan ambassador to France, uh, Madame Betty Cheruon, who paid a courtesy call to Team Kenya in camp. Uh, she had a good visit with them. They had dinner with the team, and in the morning, she visited Team Kenya training camps. She was here to see how the national rugby team is training. Remember that this is the last training session. This is what... But our ambassador had to say about a lot of encouragement uh, to the boys as they head out to Paris. So being here is just to make sure that the Kenyans are well taken care of. You know, it's sort of like a mother, when your children come home, you're there to welcome them. So to welcome them, to make sure that they're comfortable. And we always liaise with the governments here, so sort of like a nexus to make sure that our Kenyans are taken care of. And of course, apart from that, I recognize that... For the sprinters, 4x4 four four relay mixed team, they are highly motivated in high spirits as uh, they are gearing up to make an impact at the Olympics. Remember, it was not easy for them to qualify. They had to wait until the last day, that is 30th of June, to know if they have qualified through the world rankings. And they did that. We caught up with uh, Boniface Moresa, a very experienced athlete in the 400 meters, and he's saying that uh, they are ready to go. But in terms of who will uh, anchor the team, that win is a close regarded a secret for them. For now, uh, anyone can do it. Like, let's say like men, for me I can start, I can split. Ikom can do the same, Sanai can do the same, Tauta can do the same. Uh, so we are leaving it to coaches to tell us like, this is the person who's going to run uh, this uh, maybe the first day. So f uh, anyone who will be left out, will be supporting the team. For Maureen Thomas, uh, she is very excited to go to see how the village looks like uh, because this is the very first time that she's being at the Olympics. And what she's looking forward to is to go and uh, see how the Olympics looks like, especially in the village as, especially in the village as she tries uh, to make an impact for herself and for Team Kenya Relay team.
hiyo ni hiyo inaitangwa je hiyo logo ya Paris hiyo sasa hapo <laughs> lazima tupige picha yeah to mark memory and for Veronica Mutua she is looking forward to brush shoulders with the international athletes uh, that she has been seeing on TV and also get that experience that she has been looking for and finally she has a tag name under her back which is now she's now an olympian najisikia vizuri ju hii ni mara yangu ya kwanza kuingia olympic sijawe yona olympic ni nini nafurahia sana kwa hiyo for capital sports from Mirama south of france my name is alexis aboke